hey, I get it, you're scared, you know, with everything that's going around the world, maybe, you know, you have a job that had to be shut down for the next two weeks, or maybe you have a business that had to be shut down, you're being asked to quarantine with, you know, your family, maybe even, you, you know, everywhere you go, people start coughing and you just simply freak out and try to run away. I completely understand. Also, looking at the stock market and everything is plummeting, you know, looking at everything around you kind of, it seems like things are simply crawling and falling apart. So really start thinking about it, like what is your move right now, you know, what is exactly that you are going to be doing, what is the next step, right, what exactly are you going to be doing in this time right now, the time where, you know, you don't have work, you're out of work, maybe your income has stopped, depending on what it is exactly that you do, I know companies like, uh, um, like casinos here in San Diego, Verona Casino, uh, um, Uber, I know that, um, you know, I have a few friends that actually work in these industries, that these companies have offered that should your local city, you know, simply tell you that you can't move out of the house for 14 days, we will actually pay you the average of what you've made in the past six months. Also, another thing is that the federal government has offered about $1,000 for every citizen that is actually affected by exactly what's going on. Whether you live in the US, in Europe somewhere, in Canada, really just anywhere around the world, you are somehow being affected by exactly what's going around the world right now. And I'm pretty sure you're starting to think like, what is exactly my next move? What is going to happen? Okay, so if you live in, in America, you know, especially, a few months ago we had the government shutdown and maybe your business was, you know, was impacted or, or your revenue stream was impacted and now the coronavirus and then now again you're impacted. So you need to start really thinking about what your next moves are going to be and what exactly it is that you are going to be, you know, uh, uh, making for change when it comes to change especially, you know, because sometimes, especially for me personally, four years ago when I, you know, when my restaurant burned down, when I lost my restaurant, that was like a trigger for me, you know? That was the thing that really started, that made me. It kind of put me in the position like, now I need to start thinking outside of the box. Like, now what? I've lost it all. What am I gonna do next? Am I just gonna go get a job and then try to pay off my debt? Am I gonna, you know, kind of reinvent myself? Exactly what is it that I'm gonna be doing? So one thing that I want you guys to really think about is, you know, don't dwell over what's going on around the world. And instead of, you know, sitting and, and, and kind of being scared, try to um, to pick up a new book, pick up an online course, you know, uh, try to start something, maybe go into something that, that has, you've, you've left alone or you've kind of set aside the past, you know, month or, or six months or a year or 10 years, right? Pick it back up and start doing it, right? Get yourself busy and look, Having social media is great. It's beautiful. It's awesome, right? But let's face it, everyone and their sister is now an expert, right? You've got the CDC, you know, kind of uh, uh, putting things in, in, in front of you, which is great to be following what's going on. You've got the White House, and then you also have everyone, you know, different governments throughout the world, and you have, you know, your, your, your influencers, the people that you follow and that you trust, you know, they're coming up with their own versions and then you've got all these different people kind of colliding in front of you and, and you just kind of don't know, well, who do I trust exactly what's going on? And then you see people, you know, going crazy about toilet paper and um, and it's just like you're, you're, you're freaking out, right? But one thing that you have to understand is that everything happens for a reason. Always look for the positive and every negative and try to use this time to really reinvent yourself and kind of think the next steps moving forward so that God forbid if something like that does happen in the future, you are more prepared and you're not in the situation that you are in currently. Now, does what's going around the world mean a global recession, you know? Also, does this mean that e-commerce is gone? Does this mean that China is done? Does this mean that all these different things that are happening is definitely possible, right? But is this gonna be the way of life? Absolutely not. Now, one of the most updates, the most recent updates about Amazon is that uh, you're gonna see on the screen here is that Amazon just this morning actually released an email saying that they are only going to be allowing inbound shipments of goods that are emergency goods, you know, goods that actually have to do with the with what's going on, right? If you're selling uh, uh, cleaning supplies, if you're selling like foods, if you're selling, you know, uh, um, like masks and gloves and things like that, they're going to allow you to create shipping plans. So if you're an Amazon seller right now and you're not, you don't, you know, your product is not considered as an emergency good and you try to go create a shipping plan, it's most likely that Amazon is gonna give you an error message that you cannot do that. Now, many are gonna be wondering, well, I have a shipment being shipped from China to Amazon, so does that mean they're not gonna receive it and I need to reroute? No, the article simply says for 
creation of no shipments, right? No shipping plans. So if you are just about to be, you know, shipping your product over to Amazon, then that's going to impact it and you're not going to be able to do that until at least April 5th. The, the email says until April 5th. Now that might change, but they're saying at least until April 5th. So I know personally, I'm telling my students, hey, look, that's great, you know, awesome, okay. It's, you know, you've got about two weeks, you can't create new shipping plans, so just make sure that you are planning. If you've got 200 units in inventory, you know you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna run out, well, shame on you because you should have ordered a lot before that, you know, but maybe raise your price, maybe try to optimize your listing, better your pictures, better your titles. If you haven't sold on Amazon yet and you're looking into it or you're looking into a product negotiating, negotiate a better price. Look for more suppliers, you know. Uh, um, do further research into your product, right, if you are an Amazon seller. Now, if you're not an Amazon seller and you are looking into selling on Amazon, does this mean that selling on Amazon is completely dead? Does this mean that China is done? Listen, the situation is China, in China, is more than 70% contained, okay? So is China dead? Absolutely not. China cannot just die, cannot just go away. You know, this is simply, uh, I know President Trump yesterday in a, in a conference from the White House, or at the White House, he said that, you know what, now we have created systems, oh, I don't care whether you like them or not, I'm not being polit uh, pol uh, political here, but if you like them or not, he's saying that, that now we have systems, we have created systems for this emergency that we can use in the future. Same thing with China. Now they are aware of what the potential can be, what the exposure can look like should this happen, and now they have just bettered their systems. So if anything, now there are better systems to really you know, uh, deal with such situations should they happen in the future again. That's why I'm saying, always look for the positive in every single negative. Now look, when I first heard of quarantine, I didn't even know what it meant. I probably still don't even know how you spell it, to be honest with you. Now. You know, when they said you have to quarantine yourself and sit home, I was like, but wait, I only leave the house like twice per week of that on Sundays. I go out with my wife and then, you know, usually, you know, Thursdays or Tuesdays, we'll either go shopping or we'll go have dinner somewhere. So to me, really, my lifestyle has not changed even a bit, right? So that's why I'm saying you need to kind of reevaluate your situation. If you are working a job, especially those of you that are like truck drivers or have to travel hours to get to your job, why not make this a, a, a kind of a, a wake up call that, hey, I need to really rethink my life. What if I created a, a mobile business? What if I created a digital business that doesn't, you know, require me to travel, that I don't need to always be traveling? Like I know some of you that are like consultants or, or do something that you have to actually fly over to your clients, that's probably stopped, you know? So maybe start thinking of how to digitalize this business, how to take it online completely instead of doing maybe one webinar per month and then visiting your client the, the, the rest of the time, right? Or simply starting an e-commerce business or starting an Amazon business or something like that. So this could so be a wake up call for you to, to really think about. For me, the past three years, I've been doing what I do right now. And, and you know, my life hasn't exactly changed when they said the quarantine, I know Albertsons is right down the street. We shop, I didn't go crazy. We bought enough food for a week. You know, I know I can survive off of one, one meal per day, right? So that's why I always say like, don't panic. Keep a cool head, right? Because when you panic, like let's just face it, when you panic, just think about, think back of the times when you panicked or when you really just sat there and like, just became very nervous and very anxious and, 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 and like everything just, you know, blacks out in front of you and you can't really think. And that's the problem is when you can't think with a clear head, you can't make right decisions. And that's why you really have to take this and kind of take a step back, look at all of your options, lay out your options in front of you. That's why I'm saying this could so be a great time for you to reevaluate your situation, reevaluate your life, reevaluate what it is that you're doing and start making better decisions and preparations for the future. If you've got money invested in REITs and, 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 and stocks and bonds and whatever it is, you know, uh, ITFs, ATIFs, I don't know what the hell they're even called, and, and, and things are plummeting, don't freak out once again. Um, you know, once again, use this as a, an experience for the future, right? They are going to come back up as soon as someone announces something, a vaccine, anything, just anything things are gonna come back up, right? And then they're gonna be greater. So if you if your money is, is is worth less now than it was, than it did, you know, a month ago, it's okay. Just hang tight, you know, stick through the ride. It'll it'll get through, right? 
But then once it comes back up to where you are, now that's when you actually start rethinking everything and say, okay, was this the best vehicle for me to be in, right? Like if you are an Amazon seller and then things shut down, okay, well maybe you need to start thinking of the future. Maybe I shouldn't just focus on Amazon and should open a Shopify store. Or maybe I shouldn't just focus on FBA. I should have my own fulfillment centers that are you know, shipping to my, uh, to my, uh, um, to my customers, right? Or maybe diversifying and instead of being a drop shipper and a wholesaler, maybe launch a couple of private label products products or vice versa, you know, whatever your case is really, start thinking of different channels. I know for me, I, adver I use a lot of, you know, Facebook advertising and sometimes, you know, I'll wake up in the morning and bam, my Facebook ads manager is gone and then that's when I started this YouTube channel. I'm like, I want to reach people on different channels, on different mediums. And I started an Instagram and I started, you know, advertising on Google as well, right? So that way, if one goes down, or slows down, I have other streams of, of delivering content, delivering my message and, and getting through to you guys and making sure that I still make my way, you know, in front of you guys. Look, I truly hope that this video has been helpful. I don't even remember if I even introduced myself, the shark at two here, seven figure Amazon seller from beautiful San Diego, as you can see behind me here. Um, I really hope you guys, you know, uh, uh, wish you all great health. Wash your hands. Don't freak out. Don't go and buy all the freaking toilet paper in the world. I mean, I don't even know how the whole toilet paper started. Like seriously, drop in the comments below and tell me if you know how the whole toilet paper thing came about. Like, okay, if you're if you're gonna you know get the coronavirus, are you gonna shit yourself? I don't know. But seriously, drop in the comments below. Let me know. Um, I drop videos every single Thursday about Amazon FBA. Today, this is a kind of an off uh, topic thing that I'm gonna drop on Tuesday. But this upcoming Thursday, I'm gonna have another video by Amazon FBA. Uh, so if you're interested in selling on Amazon, if maybe you have started selling on Amazon and you're kind of like stuck, don't really know where to go from here. You know, you're like, I don't wanna do it on my own. I don't wanna fail. I want someone to walk me through it. You know, I've made available a couple of spots on my calendar where I'll jump on a call with you, discuss possibilities, answer your questions, see exactly where we can take you, right? What is kind of the next step for you? And then just kind of go from there. So. Click the link below, apply, and then let's see if we can help you. But aside from that, guys, Bashar Ketu here. I do appreciate you all for being so awesome and taking the time to really watch this video. Once again, be careful, don't panic. That's my motto the past couple of weeks now. Be careful, don't panic, wash your hands. I'll see you all in the next video. Y'all have a great day and cheers.